Hi there. In this short presentation, I'll discuss the considerations we must give to the evidence we want to use in our academic work so as to properly support the claims we are making in our writing. We gather evidence by reading across as many relevant and credible sources as we can find on the topic area. Evidence can take many forms. For example, evidence might be the thoughts or ideas of a theorist, or the findings of an academic research paper, or a statement from a government report, and so on. We may decide to provide a direct quotation from one of these sources, or, more likely, we may paraphrase this information into our own words. It is important that we give consideration as to how this evidence is presented within our writing so that our reader knows when and how we are bringing the thoughts, words or ideas of other writers into our own work. Take a second and ask yourself what is wrong with this paragraph. It's important to try to look at your writing from the perspective of your reader whenever you can. Where there is nothing wrong with the writing itself here, some, someone reading this paragraph in an academic assignment would be immediately struck by the absence of any in-text citations. Remember that our in-text citations are how we indicate to our reader that evidence is being included within our writing. Therefore, if we have a large amount of writing in our assignment with no in-text citations, then our marker will already be alert to one of the, two, one of the following two problems. A. We haven't done any reading on the topic and therefore all the information contained in our writing is simply our own thoughts or ideas. This means that our writing is not evidence based and is therefore unlikely to achieve the standards expected of us. Or problem B. We have researched our topic and found relevant sources but since there are no citations in our paragraph we are not indicating to a reader which information belongs to other writers. This is a major problem too, because it means that we may be open to accusations of plagiarism, which is when we use the words or ideas of other writers within our work without telling our readers that we are doing so. The key point to take away from all of this is the importance of referencing as the way to tell our reader about evidence we are using within our writing. Sometimes people lose sight of why referencing is important. You should always remember that, an ac that academic writing must be supported by evidence and that our referencing, in this case in-text citations, is how we tell our reader about the evidence we are using within our writing. This paragraph highlights another common issue that students face when using evidence within their writing. There are four sentences in this paragraph, each containing information about the topic of the sugar tax. My mistake here is that I've placed a citation at the end of the paragraph with the intention of telling my reader that all of the information in the paragraph came from the same source. However, this fact will not be clear to my reader. They will understand that the information in the last sentence came from this source, but not necessarily true of the preceding sentences. Therefore, if all or much of the evidence in the paragraph comes from the same source, then we would expect to have a few citations indicating this. Remember, having too few citations is always more problematic than having too many. So if you're ever in doubt as to whether to provide another citation for the same source, then just provide one. As you can see, we don't need to provide a citation for every single sentence here, but to any reader it will be clear that the information contained within this paragraph all comes from the same source. However, this raises a new problem for our paragraph, which is that while it is now referenced correctly, continually citing the same source tells my reader at a glance that I've not done much reading. High quality academic writing will use a number of credible and relevant sources to construct the point being made in the paragraph. Please note here, the citations in this PowerPoint have been highlighted in bold for the purposes of this presentation. Please don't make your own citations bold. Remember, a variety of citations indicates that we have read widely and are providing evidence from a number of sources. High quality academic writing will use a number of credible and relevant sources to construct the point being made in the paragraph. When asking themselves how much evidence should be cited in their writing, 
Students will often count up the total number of sources for their entire essay to decide if they have enough evidence. However, a much more effective way of producing high quality writing is to write in clearly defined paragraphs, each of which bring together a number of sources to argue a certain point. So rather than asking yourself, do I have enough sources in this essay, you should instead ask yourself, do I have enough sources, do I have enough evidence in each paragraph? A paragraph such as this, which cites a number of sources all related to the same central point, is much more impressive to the reader than a paragraph which continually cites the same source. This demonstrates good use of evidence. Well, thanks a lot for listening. Remember, you can get further support with this topic discussed in this presentation or anything else academic skills related by booking a 30-minute academic skills appointment through the UWS Careers and Skills site. Our long group appointments can also be arranged by emailing skills at uws.ac.uk. Please also have a listen to our podcasts on academic skills, including academic writing. All episodes are available on Spotify.